Russell Wilson <coughs> will win MVP this season for the first time. I think this is probably the most realistic out of everything we've said, but I still do think it's going to be an overreaction because Russell Wilson, time and time again, um, we've talked about it later in the season. He'll perceive pressure. He'll, you know, basically see ghosts and it'll affect his play tremendously. But, you know, if there's one thing that you have to look at in this win over the Colts is the, the I think the bigger story than Russell Wilson in this game is the Seahawks defensive line getting a hold of potentially the best O-line in the NFL right now, or one of the top O-lines next to obviously, you know, Kansas City, Tampa Bay, Cleveland, like the Colts have a lot of talent on that line and the Seahawks were able to make things happen. Now, Russell Wilson, I know we're speaking about him, but I know the guy had a great game. He plays great week one all the time. You know, let's see how Russell Wilson gets when he's got to come down to the wire again for four, five, six weeks in a row like last year. I think he won the Minnesota game by one, um, had no reason doing that in 2020, and then lost the next game. And I said, look, Russ's magic ran out. That's how it happens. So let's cop down on the MVP talks. Was it an MVP caliber game? Sure. Against a great defense? Sure. But it's week one. So let's not talk about MVPs in week one. He wasn't even in our in our uh, eyesight for the predictions anyways. So yeah, overreaction, but the most realistic of them. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think this one being different from what he normally does, usually he comes out and throws for three, four hundred yards. Look what he did week four, one. Four or five Atlanta touchdowns. And then like I mean, and then he keeps it up for like about six, seven weeks to the point where it's like he's a runaway for the MVP. Yeah. So it might actually be better for him that he came out with a solid win over the Colts. He only went for 254, but he did throw four touchdowns and no interceptions. So just like you talked about the crazy rating that um, what Matt Stafford finished with. Yeah, 156.1. Russell Wilson was a 152.3. Yeah. So he was right up there. So if he can just have a consistent year as opposed to half of a like, legendary season and then a second <laughs> half that's like, well, what the hell happened to him? Then I think he actually could be on pace for it. Yeah. If he's not the front runner, I think he might be able to continue. Right. This might be a good thing for him. So I think, yeah, this might be the, uh, the most realistic of all of them. <laughs>